What's up guys, Justin here with TheRenderingEssentials.com back with another Unreal Engine tutorial for you. So in this video, we're gonna talk about using materials inside Unreal Engine. This is probably gonna be a multiple part series where I talk about how you can create your own materials and also some of the attributes that are associated with those materials. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so to start off, there's a few concepts that you need to understand when you're working with materials inside Unreal Engine. And so the first is that Unreal Engine is a physically based renderer, meaning basically that we're going to define the characteristics of the materials inside the renderer, then Unreal Engine uses those characteristics to realistically calculate how light would respond to those materials. And so we do that by defining different things about the materials within the material editor. So you can get to the material editor generally by, if you have an object, if you click on it, you go down to the details section, you can get in here and you can double click on your materials. You can also double click on a material inside the content browser in order to open that up. So if I double click on this Justin's material object, that would pop up over here. Well, in this case, I have a material that I've already created. And we're going to talk more about how the material editor works um, in the next video, but I want to use this to demonstrate some of those important terms that we need to understand. And so to start off, there's a few things that basically make materials look the way that they look within Unreal Engine. So the first is your base color. And so inside my, uh, inside my material editor, I have an, a node that basically contains all of the information about the material. And so you can see there's a list of different things in here like base color, metallic, specular, roughness, and some more. And so we're gonna focus on these first four things and kind of what they do. And so the first thing is every material has a base color. And so the base color is basically going to assign the color of your material. So in this case, if I was to drag, if I was to connect these two nodes, then you can see how this is basically assigning a color to this material. And so that's basically defined by three values, a red, a green, and a blue. And the way this works is you can double click in here and you can adjust that um, using the color picker. But you can see what this is doing is this is basically figuring out the R, G, and B values and then it's passing that to your um, material. So basically you're defining what color this is in an RGB fashion. And you can see how when I move this around, this is adjusting the colors. So that's the first thing about a material in Unreal Engine is it has a base color value. So in addition to having a base color value, it's also going to have a metallic. And so basically what the metallic value does is it defines if your surface looks like metal or not. And so generally this is given a value of zero or one, unless you're creating some kind of like dusty, corroded type surface. Um, basically your material is either going to be metallic or not. And so if I was to connect these two nodes, um, you can see how if I give this a value of one, in this node, then this looks much more metallic. And you can see how that's affecting the way that light is coming off of here. So basically, if your material is metal-like, it gets a value of one. If it doesn't, it gets a value of zero. And you can see how the way this material looks is completely different when it's not set as metal. And uh, that's basically affecting the reflections and just kind of the way this material looks. So now let's talk about the specular value. So the specular value defines whether or not a non-metallic surface is able to reflect any kind of light. So um, for example, this is also generally a value between zero and one. Most of these are set as values between zero and one in Unreal Engine 4, which I find to be very helpful instead of having to deal with values like a thousand or 20,000, not having any idea what those are. It's just a value between zero and one. And so in this case, this value is gonna affect if this can reflect light or not. And so let's say I was to come in here and I was to set my specular value to 0.1, you can see how this isn't really reflecting very much light at all. So, or if I was to set this to zero, you can see how that's, that's affecting this and it's not really reflecting anything off of the lights in the preview pane. However, if you were to set it to one, then you're gonna get a lot more light reflection. You can see how this looks different based on that. You can now kind of see the sun coming off of this, um, that sort of thing. So this is gonna affect basically the reflective value of the object. So at the moment, probably the more important one that we wanna talk about is the roughness. And so what the roughness is gonna do is that's gonna affect whether or not the object either scatters the light or it mirrors the light. 
So if I was to drag a value across to the roughness in the material editor, and I was to set this to a value of 0.1, you can see how this is really reflecting a lot of different things. You can kind of see the building in the background of the preview here. You're getting a lot of reflection in here with a roughness of 0.1. However, if you were to run this up to like one, you can see how you're not getting any reflection at, at all. And so, and the reason for that is all of the light that's hitting this material is getting scattered instead of getting bounced. And the best way that I've heard this described is that roughness, if you set a value of zero, it's basically gonna be like a really reflective glass. So, if you imagine the way that light bounces off glass, if you were to come in here and you were to set this value to zero, you can see how the light is coming in and it's bouncing off and you're able to get this reflective image. But if you were to set this to one, it's more like setting your material to kind of a chalk, meaning the light rays don't really bounce off the surface in a way where you see reflections or anything like that. And so your roughness value is gonna be very important in setting how much things are going to reflect. Um, but you can see how that's really affecting this. And then the other thing is these all kind of work together. So let's say for example, you were to combine metallic with roughness. So let's say you were to set this to a metallic value of one, but then you were to set your roughness to 0.1. Basically what that means is now this is metallic looking, so it's adding to the way things are reflecting in here, and you're also getting that light reflecting off of this face. So that's kind of an overview of the different attributes of the materials. Let's talk just a bit about adding materials into Unreal Engine. And so um, let's say, for example, that I've got just kind of a base default level in here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use some of the starter content. And so if you don't have the starter content in here, you can click the drop down for add new. You can go up to add feature or content pack. You wanna go off to the right hand side where it says content packs, and you wanna bring in the starter content. That's gonna contain a bunch of different materials and uh, other things that we can use in order to kind of show off what Unreal Engine can do. Well, in this case, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down to the props folder once you bring that in and you can bring in this preview mesh. And so basically what the preview mesh is, is it's basically a shape um, that gets brought into Unreal Engine that's basically set up to preview what materials are going to look like. And so in this case, when I bring that in, you're gonna notice this already has some materials applied on it. And so if you click on it and you look over in the details section, you'll notice that there's a couple different elements in here. And uh, that's kind of where your materials for this object are defined but it's really easy to add materials to object or to actors in Unreal Engine. So if you go into the materials folder, for example, and then let's say we were to bring in this brick clay new into our level, all we'd wanna do is we just wanna click and drag this on top of that actor. And you can see how that's getting applied to that actor. And so you can see how it's really easy to apply different materials just by doing that, by bringing them out of our content browser. So like, let's say for example, I wanted to apply some mossy ground to this ground plane, you would just click and drag that in. And so when you click on these, you'll notice that these have been updated in the materials detail section. So you can see how, for example, in this case, my brick material has been applied to the element zero portion portion of this object. And that's another thing to note is in this case, this has multiple different elements. So that's different parts of this object that get the mater different materials applied to them. So if you look at this, um, right now you have one material that's being applied to the U of the Unreal Engine preview, then you've got a different material that's being applied to this other section, and those are your two elements. And let's say, for example, that I wanted this to be a different material. What I could do is I could either drag this directly on top of that, so you can see how when I drag this on top of that, that applies that to the element one section because that's specifically what I drag that over. You could also click and drag that material onto the element one over here. And you can see when you do that, that's gonna apply that to this um, object. And a lot of your more basic objects, like if I was to drag a cube in, um, they don't have multiple elements in them, they just have the one. So I could drag like a steel material and you can see how that's getting applied right here. In the next video, we'll talk about how to create and adjust our own materials using the material editor in Unreal Engine.
So that's where I'm going to end this video. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. Is this interesting to you? Do you want to see more Unreal Engine tutorials? I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new rendering content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.